Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you um, one of the processes that I've been going through with my watercolour painting for the last um, over three years since I started painting and that is to paint at least one sky a day. Any old sky, it doesn't matter, it could be the sky that I see, a sky that I remember or a sky that I want to create for a painting to create the particular mood that I'm looking for in my painting or the particular atmosphere. One of my favourite artists, watercolour artists, uh, Roland Hilda, um, who painted, painted the most incredible landscapes, mostly around Kent, um, suggests that painting a sky a day is a really good way to learn about your materials. And by that, um, I mean your paint, your paper, your brushes, um, your water, and how they all work together. Watercolour painting is a deceptively difficult medium. Um, once you have learned about your tools and your equipment, it does become a lot easier. But learning about paint and water ratios, um, which brushes to use, um, how the paper reacts, when to paint wet in wet, um, when to paint wet paint on dry, uh, when not to add more water to a painting, how to avoid blooms and cauliflowers, and how to avoid creating mud. All these issues are very problematic when you start painting. And um, it doesn't matter how many times you read a book or watch tutorials to start with, um, problems are going to happen. It happens to all of us. But the best way to progress is to paint regularly and without worrying too much. Paint in a sort of a relaxed way. Try not to think about painting whole paintings um, and being very perfect and particular about it. To start with, the best way to paint is to paint with abandon and through experimentation and curiosity to find out what works, what goes wrong, how to avoid that and how to exploit the effects that you discover. But most of all, to learn about how your materials work. You'll find that if you start to paint at least one sky every day, then soon you'll pretty much want to progress from painting the sky to painting the landscape below. You'll have ideas. You'll enjoy painting the sky and you'll think, hmm, that would look really nice with mountains or maybe that would be a stormy sea or a peaceful bay or something like that. So just by painting a sky, it helps to move you on to other parts of a painting so that you feel more relaxed about the whole process, um, looking at the big picture, i.e. the sky, rather than the tiny little details in which you can get pretty much bogged down. Today's sky has been painted with just three colours, Prussian blue, burnt umber and Payne's grey. I recommend limited palettes, um, colours that you like, colours that you discover go well together and make you feel good when you paint with them, um, will give a much more harmonious effect than using um, too many different shades or colours um, from, from a, a paint box. So one of the first things that I'd suggest is getting to know a few very basic colours colours that you like and then learning to work with them. And secondly, for painting skies, choose the biggest brush you can. I like using Harky brushes or large um, Chinese calligraphy brushes. Big wash brushes are great because then you'll get large and expressive brushwork. And once you understand the ratios of paint and water, um, and how quickly your paper dries um, according to how hot or cold your room is wherever you paint, then you'll soon start, start discovering your own ways of painting um, landscapes and skies. But the bigger brush the better because it keeps you loose and stops you from fiddling. And one of the first things that I learned, uh, probably into about, I don't know, day five, day six of painting one sky a day, back in the early days, 
was as soon as your sky colours are quickly laid down, whether it's a plain sky, a stormy sky, a graduated wash, um, whatever, step away from it, leave it alone and don't touch it until it dries. Even if it looks a little bit harsh when you first paint it, watercolour has a way of softening and lightening as it dries in very subtle ways, especially if you use good cotton paper, which is designed to react beautifully to watercolour's properties of softening and blending um, and looking really transparent and beautiful on, on the page. So now I'm adding some finishing touches to this painting, which is a misty mountain scene with a couple of figures just in silhouette looking out over the mountains and the misty lake in the, in the, in the distance. This painting has only taken a few minutes to complete. It's all been painted before you in real time, um, every brush stroke. And it just goes to show that once you've mastered your brushes, your water and paint ratios, the drying time of your paper, etc., etc., then uh, you'll be able to create beautiful landscape paintings or, or whatever genre of paintings that appeal to you um, in your own style um, and in your own way through learning about your materials. And this is why I recommend people to paint at least one sky a day if you want to do landscape painting, because it will really help you to learn about your own style and your own colour preferences and your own choices. Well, I hope that's been helpful, especially for beginners who really sometimes don't know where to start, even or especially with trying to follow um, other artists tutorials. Um, I think tutorials are incredibly important and very very interesting to watch. It's always good to watch how other artists paint, uh, the decisions that they make, the methods that they use because this can help you when you begin to paint for yourself. But remember um, there's no substitute for getting down and experimenting and analysing what went wrong and trying to correct that in the next painting. And painting a sky a day can be a very liberating and expressive way um, of learning to paint and to progress with watercolour. I know this has been a slightly different approach to my usual demonstrations here on YouTube, but I hope it's been helpful. Um, I just wanted to share this with you because painting a sky a day was the thing that it en enabled me to um, learn so much more about watercolour painting and gave me more confidence and helped me to be experimental and to paint loosely and to be less bogged down with the details and trying to actually paint the bigger picture, so to speak. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. I'll see you again soon. Bye.